Praise the Lord, friends. It's me, Pastor John, coming to you from beautiful Riverside, California, with our daily devotional for today, Wednesday, April 15th. Uh, today's devotional brings us to John chapter 3. And as we know, this chapter is an amazing chapter. Jesus has a great conversation with Nicodemus. Nicodemus then becomes a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The Bible says that uh, Nicodemus comes to him by night and he comes to talk to him and he says, Master, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God because no one could do the things that you are doing unless God were with them. Now, I want you to see something. Someone who doesn't know Jesus is seeing the fruit on Jesus's tree. Amen. The Bible says you shall know us by our fruit. Amen. Nicodemus comes to Jesus and he says, look, I see the fruit on your tree and I see that you are doing miracles. I see you are doing amazing things and no one could do that unless his roots were in God. Amen. Master, we know that you have come from God because no one can do the things that you doing are doing unless God was with them. Jesus looks at Nicodemus and he says, Nicodemus, let me just tell you. He says that unless a man is born again, he cannot even see the kingdom of God. Now, Nicodemus was a, a member of the Jewish ruling council. Uh, these guys were responsible for leading the nation of Israel into all truth. Uh, the religious leaders and the social leaders of the nation of Israel at the time. And Nicodemus looks at him and says, what? How can a man be born again? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb to be born again? Jesus looks at him and he says, listen, unless a man is born of the spirit, amen, and of the water, he cannot be, uh, he cannot even see the kingdom of God. Wow, that's amazing. Jesus is so unbelievable when he tells you that you must be born again. What he means is this. He means that your, your spirit has to be reborn in him. Hallelujah. I love this story. Later on in the story, we get to John 3, 16, and, and uh, Jesus says this. Jesus says, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him, this is how you become born again, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Amen. Put your trust in and your faith in Jesus today. Amen. Amen. God bless you. John chapter three, tomorrow we'll see you with John chapter four. God bless. Bye-bye.